this video tutorial I will cover how to inject a dependent object using a spring dependence injection by setter method. Here you can see employee class. It has address class. So employee class depends on address class. So address class object is called dependent object. Here I have defined the class address. It has two properties city and state and setter and getter methods for these two properties. Here I have overridden two string method. Here I have defined the class employee. It has three properties ID, name and address. Address is the dependent object and setter and getter methods for these three properties. Here I have overridden a two string method. This is a spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned address object and employee object should be created by spring container using a spring dependency injection by setter method. Property element which invokes the setter method. In this case setter method of city will be called and value will be set as Chennai. And in this case setter method of state will be called and value will be set as Tamil Nadu. And in this case setter method of ID will be called and value will be set as 100. And in this case, setter method of name will be called and value will be set as Peter. In this case, setter method of address will be called and address object will be set, which is this one. What objects to instantiate, what objects to configure, how to configure and what objects to be assembled. This information will be there in spring configuration file. In this example we have specified address object and employee object should be created by spring container using dependency injection by setter method. Spring container read this uh, spring configuration file and uh, it creates the address object, creates the employee object and uh, configure the address object and uh, configure the employee object and uh, wire the address object with uh, employee object and uh, manage the complete life cycle of uh, address object and uh, employee object. Here I have defined the class uh, app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using a getbean method of application context object. I am getting a employee object from a spring container and displaying the employee details. Here you can see the output and here you can see employee object ID is set as 100 and name is set as Peter and dependent object address also set. 